Hey guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing and to another video where we're just about to get things underway. I'm here in London but I'm going to be departing shortly and in today's video we're going to be talking a lot about my journey on YouTube, where I sort of came from and uh, to where I am now and the cars which I have owned because if you're early viewers of the channel, some of you might not be, um, I've got the chance to own amazing cars over the years if it's from my A45 AMG which was the first car that I owned to now which is the GC3 RS and cars in between as well including a Lamborghini Huracan, including BMW M2, Audi R8, Corvette, there are lots in there and today I just wanted to basically put together a video talking about the numbers and how we've made it possible in terms of finance um, because it's a bit of a tricky uh, subject finance a lot of people think well you can't afford them don't go and buy them but I actually uploaded this video yesterday but removed it because I didn't quite feel there was a disclaimer at the start of the video before talking about finance and I want all of you guys uh, before you watch the chat about finance is be careful don't go just go and rush into something and buy something you're not too sure about or you necessarily can't afford uh, this is not an ad it's more just I want to share and talk about how we made it possible for me to talk about it get Tim from Magnitude in and basically just uh, yeah the ways that we've done it and the the getting out of the cars as well is another thing um, and exit penalties and how much I could have uh, cost myself and exit penalties all of this is uh, very interesting because if I didn't have the right people around me this channel wouldn't be a thing and I'd probably be bankrupt the cars I've jumped in and out of there's Lamborghinis and this and that they're expensive cars to jump into for that we're gonna head to Mayfair Prestige and then we're gonna jump in and talk all things how I've sort of made my supercar garage possible over the years. So we are now upstairs here at Mayfair Prestige. It's been a while actually since I've been here. Uh, good to see they're doing lots of bits, lots of cars are sort of moving and things like that. So it's actually good to catch up with them. But what I will do is I'll show you just a little tour of uh, what is here. Straight away, you're always greeted with nice stuff. So not gonna get much more chaos on the road, are you? And Roadster as well, Aventador. I'm a fan. I mean, they just sound amazing and are amazing. And uh, 200, I think it's two, just over 200 grand. This is actually the last time I was here, the uh, AMG. Really nice, silver with uh, sort of the silvery wheels as well. Ferrari F12. These are really, really good value now. Good, good news. Um, how would you spec yours? I personally think that is classy. It's all the car you would leave classy. You don't need to go too bold with that one. 675, one of the ones they've got sort of stored here but mega as well. I, I come here and it's always here and I love it. Really, really love it. G-Wagon's parked over there. And then, yes, I told you they were not playing games here. They have a 488 Pista in what I think is one of the best specs I've ever seen. The paint is stunning. It is really, really stunning. And the stripe uh, down the middle. And uh, these are as well just such good news. They really are, I mean, Pista. They're good. They are flipping good. All the carbon in the engine bay, they're just stunning cars. So I do know that this, re oh look at the paddles as well. Look at the yellow on the paddles as well. That is so nice. You see now join me, where well, I'm actually in the Tesla, but I'm joined with Mr. Tim Marlow from Magnitude Finance. More than all, got him in the electric car at long last. You have, you've got me in an electric car, which is uh, it's good. I actually really like it. And I'm driving, so I feel safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. He doesn't want a racing driver in his, uh, in his hand. So today, I wanted to get Tim along because I get so many questions on uh, YouTube and on Instagram. How do you afford your cars? There's been a bit of an outrage recently in terms of the SVR. He's jumped out after two months. And two months, can you believe it? That was <laughs> at least a 12 months you promised me. Exactly. It's one of those things. Everyone wants to drive nice cars. In my uh, industry, it's, it, yep, that's one of the things which uh, goes with it. You want to drive nice cars. Um, and Tim, gets one of the, Yeah, one of the big things is the pitfalls and understanding about the uh, uh, the, the financing cars that yes you can get the cheapest rate yes you can get the cheapest payment but it's understanding the whole the whole package That's because if we had got you the cheapest rate and the cheapest payment in your SVR you wouldn't be getting out after two months 
But where that conversation I actually, went I, through, I actually, I actually wouldn't have got out of it after two months without you. Absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Not, to, not without. Uh, yeah, you haven't put your hand in your pocket. And as I said, when we did that deal, we talked about it, and you're going to keep it 12 months. But we still took the view that you're probably going to change early. So we put you into a regulated product, uh, which gives you that complete flexibility. We're slightly more expensive than a non-regulated product, but it allows you to come out of it whenever you want to do, as you have proven. Have <laughs> after eight weeks. Um, but um, the thing is, I think there's a, there's a big thing with finance and people are a little bit scared or some people might actually not realize that they can jump into one of their dream cars a lot easier than they think. Because I think with finance, people see a car and they see, oh, it's £150,000, for example, let's say the GT3 RS, and they think, that's, I don't have 150 grand yeah. in the bank. Not many people write checks out for that, which I'm quite pleased about, because it means I can finance cars and I'm yeah. kind of doing what I'm doing. Yeah. But uh, yeah, typical something like that, 150 grand, we'd be looking at ideally 10%, but 10 grand deposit to get you into that. And then it's all about payments. So we need to balance the payments of the key word, buzzword at the moment is about affordability. And yes. uh, we need to make sure that customers are getting into cars that they can afford. Uh, a lot of the time, buying something like that, if you've not got a house and uh, uh, you're still living at home, you've not got many savings and you're trying to skin yourself to buy that car, yeah. it's, it's too rich for you. And we'll have to be honest with you on that. So we expect people to be able to uh, show that they can afford it with a good solid income. Uh, sometimes we need bank statements um, just to show that you've got the regular money coming in because it's yeah. not just about the car. What about the insurance? What about the maintenance? What about just putting petrol in it? These it all are adds up. You can easily get yourself tied up in the wrong car. You can. Well, let's look at your, no, again, we'll talk about the SVR because it's the most current one. Was it a pain having to come and sign up on trade premises when really people just like to get documents emailed? I went, no, actually, you've got to come and meet me at our London office to get you signed up because then that gives you a regulated document because it has to be signed on trade premises over a certain value. So yeah, we did that on day one. And so if I didn't do that? If you didn't do that, we would have emailed the documents to you and it would have had to be a non-regulated deal. I'm not saying completely anti non-reg, but let's look at the overall uh, uh, structure of what the customer wants. So you just obviously saw a nice deposit and then your monthly payments as well. What you say to customers, send us a link of the car that you're interested in. Uh, give us an idea of what your deposit is, uh, what, what you're wanting to achieve out of it. And we'll come back with a number of options. We can give you a regulator, we can give you a non-regulator, we can give you a personal contract purchase that's got a guaranteed balloon. Yeah. Uh, we have access to all the funders and it's our job to advise you, the customer, on the, the best thing. Not only now, getting you into the uh, in, into the car, but also what's your, what's your journey going to be? Are you going to come out of it after two months? Hopefully not. But... Up to 12, 18 months <laughs> typical profile. Um, yeah. Most of our customers, av average, is around about the 26 months, believe it or not. Really? Well, I'm not in that, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you're dragging that average down. All of my cars that I've owned, if it's from the Corvette, if it's from my, all of my cars have been done through Magnitude. Crack, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Corvette was like Whoa. three years ago. Yeah. The Audi R8, sold the Cor I sold the Corvette and then I jumped in the Audi R8, then I jumped into the Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, I've had two SVRs through Magnitude, BMW M2, um, and then the so, latest so, SVR. So, so, certain thing that's just uh, potentially uh, up for sale at the moment. GT3 RS, yep. yeah, how could I forget? So yeah, for example, let's say the Corvette, something like that is a penalty, bang, done. They all, they, they, they all add up, you never get them back because it's just adds up onto the agreement, you settle it and really you're, you're losing any equity or deposit you've put into the car because it goes to the penalty. I reckon we're probably somewhere in between 50 to 70,000 pound of penalties that you probably saved over those, uh, those agreements. I mean, it's pretty mental. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It is a hell of a lot of money and if we actually think that is money which could be your deposit which goes to the next car because that you know that's yep. just the way it, it carries on going um one thing i want to quickly ask you about because i'm sure some people will want to know interest only yes is it something you don't do no we have access to interest only there's not many products that we we don't do so we, yeah. do, we do most things uh, interest only works great if someone has a big deposit and uh, they want to keep their monthly payments low Yes. We can look at interest only, but the key there is making sure that the, the final value, the balloon value as it's called, is still sensible in the market. Because last thing you want to do is put £50,000 into an agreement, just pay the interest over two years, and then find at the end of the two years you still got to put more money in to come out of it. So it's maintaining that balance overall. But the key thing that customers like is it's a very, very low monthly payment if you can do interest only, but we do need a decent deposit up front to do it. And that's the thing. That's it, it. So an interest only works is cool, your monthly payments.
kilometres are lower, yep. but your deposit is higher. It is, and we can still do regulated or non-regulated. Again, we have access to everything, so uh, yeah, we can. We, we will look at the term and the product and make sure it fits the customer's requirements. And the, the car, ultimately has to be on the right car. If you've got a car that's gonna depreciate really quick, you probably don't want to do interest only on it because you're gonna have to put so much money in up front, it's not worth it. Something, let's say, up to 100,000, you'd probably just do a regulated deal, 10% in, Nice monthly yep. payment. Balloon at, the, balloon at the end, and then the balloon sensible, what the market predicts where it's going to be. But nine times out of ten, people aren't there at the balloon, are They're they? They're not, no. No, we're doing more and more short-term deals now, because yeah. customers think, well, you know, I want to be able to get out of this, this car. Uh, I'm not going to keep it the full term. So we've got to look at a two-year deal, decent deposit, bigger balloon. Because I guess the balloon works. is the bit of the scary part. It yeah. must scare people, go like, well, I don't have 50 grand to like settle this at the end. But nine times out of ten, if you have like a three, four-year deal, or whatever, you you're never there at the end. No, you, you're not going to work. You're not going to get to that end period of uh, three or four years down the line. But saying that, if people are concerned about the balloon at the end, we offer a PCP, which is a guaranteed residual. People that are going into those are probably the ones on the the, the, the lower value cars. Maybe it's like twenty to, to sixty thousand pound mark. Um, so those guys that they want to get into the car, it might be their their first experience into uh, into sports and prestige cars. Yeah. So they might get in there, have the security that they know they're not going to uh, be upside down at the end, but then turn around and they might still come out of it after 12, 18 months. You don't have to keep it the full term. So you come out of it and then you just part exchange like you would a normal deal and go on to your next. But they've got that security that they can hand it back at the end of the day if needed. I wouldn't uh, talk about it if I didn't believe in it. So that's one of the things I think this is key. Um, and magnitude on the website, you can go on the website, you can put your figures in. Uh, that'll give you a rough, I believe, in a rough yeah, estimate. Yeah, but we've got a calculator online. Um, Last month that had over 8,000 calculations done on it, so it's quite a, uh, a useful tool. Okay. Go on there, check the numbers. I think I do like talking about... It's not a taboo subject, is it? No, it's, it, I've really enjoyed talking about finance. And it's more the fact of, I've had all these cars, and I've just got in and out of them safely, and I want to get that across, because without that, I wouldn't have been able to drive not even one of them. And that is what is so insane. Like, I wouldn't have even been able to buy a Lamborghini. I wouldn't have been able to buy... A, Corvette, Porsche, this, that, all my dream cars. The only reason I was being able to buy them is because of finance, because I don't personally have that money in the bank. Not many people do. So without that, I would be upside down, back to front, um, and I wouldn't be able to even jump into it. So ever since from day one, when we had the phone calls and we, you weren't too sure on the Corvette, but you were still, we got, man there. Yep. We got there and we, and we got out. Um, it's, it's making that, that all work yeah. and I think that is the key. I've just got back after what was a really fun day driving there and talking all things finance in terms of how we have made it possible for me and uh, the exit penalties and the this and the that. It's just an interesting chat and I like talking to Tim about it because it's just uh, yeah, it's just really interesting stuff how it all is made make, made to work for different people, so to speak, and how I've jumped in and out of different cars is just crazy. And without those guys, it would not have happened. Um, I know some people are, are against finance, etc. Uh, but for me, it worked in terms of that, and I wouldn't have been able to. And I've been I've been a lucky boy as well, uh, getting out of cars. Um, especially with Lamborghinis and stuff. It just is very, very expensive. So I have been, I'm aware, very, very lucky. So I hope you enjoyed that chat. And uh, yeah, if you are looking to buy a car, just make sure you purchased uh, the right one and uh, and be careful, obviously, as well. I don't want anyone to, that's what I felt yesterday when I uploaded the videos. I don't want anyone to suddenly just go and buy a car they're not sure about. Uh, so yeah, I hope that uh, makes sense as well. Uh, in terms of myself, my garage is going to be changing within... It's about two weeks away. Something's not far away. And there's something else, which is a, a surprise edition. I'm not just gonna go make a video milking it, but there is another car which is coming as well. So I've got two new cars arriving within eight weeks-ish, which is crazy. Uh, that, is, that is all happening very a lot quicker than we think. So two cars arriving shortly. I'm trying to see if you can guess in the comments what's coming first and what's coming second. Including the racing. I'm flipping racing this season. I want to win the first race as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, check out Magnitude down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all fresh in. Me, myself, and I